What's going on guys? It's Isaac. Today is a wonderful day because I'm working on the Biscayne. Yes! Currently I'm working on the windshield. I'm using a razor blade and scraping on the glue off of the cracked glass. And uh, John's going to come by like tomorrow and help me set the windshield in the car because I can't set it in there by myself. I got to glue up around the where the glass goes and set her down in there and uh, yeah you can't do it by yourself so John's gonna give me a hand so uh, let me get to cleaning up that windshield where's my razor blade should be on it so I'm working in the dark got a lot of nasty stuff here So it's the next day and I'm working on cleaning up this windshield. It's a lot of work because there's a silicone on there, there's some sort of black tar stuff and, and, and just a lot of bad stuff. So I'm having to take my time and scrape it with a razor blade and yeah. So it's going to be a time lapse because I'm going to be watching music videos while cleaning up the windshield and tomorrow I guess I'm gonna look and see how much a brand new windshield will be because I, I mean this one's already broken so if it's cheap it'll get a new windshield <laughs>
So the windshield's nice and clean. It's the end of the night. So tomorrow, John's going to come over and help me uh, plop this windshield in the car. And then I'm going to move on to replacing the clutch. So I'll see you guys in a second. I got the windshield ready to go in. John just needs to help me put the windshield in. But this morning I got to pricing around for a brand spanking new windshield. And uh, turns out I can have a brand spanking new windshield put in for like 300 bucks. That's them professionally installing the windshield. So guys, I, th I think I decided to just go ahead and get a new windshield put in. You know, I'm, I'm all about, you know, getting, getting the most bang out of my buck, but I would have been, I would have been installing a cracked windshield. It's cracked the whole way down the center. And if you look the whole way around, the laminate is, it's coming unlaminated and it's just ugly and yellow and, you know, the windshield's not in the best shape. So I kind of got to thinking about, you know, I'm probably going to be driving this car like 3,000 miles if it makes it. And a lot of that is going to be driving first thing in the morning when the sunshine is like the worst on your windshield. I think I want a very clean, perfect glass. So Friday, the day this video is coming out, uh, this car will be at the uh, AAA glass place getting a brand new windshield put in. So what am I going to do now? Especially after, after I wasted like two hours of my life cleaning on the old windshield. You know, the clutch slips really bad in this car. I think it's time to put a new clutch in this car since I have a couple of days to spare. So uh, I just got through sweeping up. I'm going to move the car a little bit forward. I'm going to jack it up, put some jack stands under it, drain the oil out of the transmission, and remove the transmission. Fun, fun. Then remove the bell housing flywheel hey buddy how's it going good man and uh john just showed up he needs some uh he needs a welder yeah my welder's in a new place so i'm bumming off ike now oh it's fine appreciate it not a problem so i guess i'll i'm gonna put the camera down help john out and maybe at least tonight i'll get the oil drained out of the transmission All right, guys, this is a totally different perspective. Camera on my head. Hopefully, it'll turn out cool. How are you doing? Great. I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. I believe that you respond for the low interest rate, sir. Is that correct? I, I did I did re, uh, respond. Okay. So do you have rough idea to how much you own the car? Like around a thousand, two thousand, or more than that? 
more. Oh, then that, no problem. So right now, what we are going to do for you, we are going to cut down the interest rate that will be one third that you're already paying, okay? I mean, that would be less than 6%. That will remain below 6% for you as long as you remain the prime user. Uh, uh, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow is like Friday. Can I call you tomorrow then? Um... No, I, I think I changed my mind. Could you take me off your uh, list, please? No, sir, I just changed my mind. No, no, I just changed my mind as well. So, you're going to call back? Yes, sir. <laughs> you are? Yes, sir. Even if I ask not to? Yes, sir. I changed my mind. I, think I, I was expecting that I would call back one time. Now I'm going to call it back every day. Every day. That one my mind. Yeah, that one changed my mind, sir. Have you? Uh, can I speak with your supervisor? No, sir. I'm the supervisor now. I'm the head. I'm in charge. I'm everything. I'm the only one. Like I'm the only man dealing all this stuff by myself now. I don't have a supervisor. I don't have a boss. I don't have a manager. Oh. And so I so don't have a spooky stuff. I'm is, the one man show. So this is a, a scam. I say I'm on my show, so I deal myself. I'm on my own. I'm on my own. You're on your own. So, so you don't yeah. work for a credit card company. Do you? No. 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 Okay. All right. Well, that's cool, man. Um. Well, I appreciate you calling. It can have the reason why you're not interested to have low interest rates. Well, to be honest, I don't even have a credit card. Then why are you trying to explain this uh, silly stuff on the phone? Well, it's it's because I thought I'd uh, make sir, a. Uh, make that's going to cost. That's, that's going to cost you, obviously. It's going to cost me. You get call. Yeah, exactly. The thing is that you're going to get three, five calls a day from my side only. Okay. Well, I mean. That's the cool. The That's cool. It'll it'll be on YouTube. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? He's got my number and name and everything. Oh. All right, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Let's get this thing out of here. Man, this is not easy. Okay. All right. Transmission is out. Woo! Yes! Oh. Alright, now i got to take this pressure plate off and take a look at the flywheel. My guess is the flywheel is shot. I just got through installing the clutch. Transmission is going back in the car right now as we speak. Well, as soon as I get over there and put it in myself. So I went to go to put the drive shaft in and the universal joint on the rear is bad. So I had to go to the store and I got a new universal joint. Now I'm going to install a new universal joint. So I should have put that, guys, in here. It's just going to make it harder to grease up the joint 
that's all. It'll be fine. I'm not going to record this part because I'm running out of juice. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. Install that drive shaft, put fluid in the transmission, top it up, adjust that clutch linkage, and then you're going to then I'm going to bring the camera back out and we're going to crank it up and see what happens. So, see you guys in a second.